hello everybody. Okay, I've been asked to do an updated read on Josh Bohannon. So we are going to get to that. I'm going to ask if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're made aware when I do updated reads and when I go live. Let's get into this. We have a few decks that we are going to be using to get the most information that we can get. So I'm going to ask my ancestors to please connect with Josh, Joshua Bohannon, missing since June 3rd, 2021 from Cookville, Tennessee. Please connect with Josh. We are going to see what is going on. So we're going to ask about the days leading up to his disappearance. We will ask about the days of and what he is feeling now. Any information that he can give us that will be helpful in maybe finding him. And then we will be using a couple other decks for clear, uh, another deck for clarification. And then a couple of other decks to see if we can get an area. Okay. So we've got Marie Masquerade for the days leading up to. The day of, we've got Out Trick or Treating. And then for what he is thinking now, we have the three fates. Okay. So with the days leading up to his disappearance, I've got a lot of, I've got a female. I've got a lot of drama going on around the situation with him and her. Um, the day of, we've got, we're here, trick-or-treating. So some things were being done. Um when I get the trick-or-treating on the day of the incident, this tells me that there was a lot of trickery going on, a lot of games being played with him. And what comes around, what he's thinking now, or things that are surrounding, you know, what could be happening now. I've got the three fates, which is telling me that what goes around comes around, okay? So let's get some clarification cards on this with the days leading up to Josh going missing. What's going on? Okay, we're going to start with the days leading up to. I've got a lot of drama with this female. I've got the three witchy sisters and the violet angel. Okay, which tells me that there was a lot, not only was there a lot of drama going on with this female that he was with, um, the three witchy sisters tell me about a power of three. So there was three of them. Um, I'm not sure what came out in the first read when I did this, but I believe that there was Josh and two others. So there's somebody else that was involved um, in all this drama that was happening around him um, leading up to the days leading up to what happened. Um, I've also got the Violet Angel, which talks about breaking dawn. So it's almost like things weren't going according to plan. Um, there was maybe a change in some plans or things were changing around him. Um, something could have been breaking up. Uh, maybe I get a feeling like things that were we were going to do, we didn't do. And who is this guy? That's what I'm getting. So I believe there's another male that was surrounding him and this female leading up to. So the day of. What's going on the day of? Why is this flipped over right away? Death and the maiden. Um, boundaries being viol violated. Dominance. The, that's not good. Um. I don't know what, like I said, I don't remember. I do so many reads. I don't remember what came out in the last read. But this is telling me that she was playing games. There was some, um, she was involved in this somehow. 
Um, I've got the games being played, um, trickery, lies, um, somebody almost like um, in my ancestor deck, you would get a trickster, something like that. There was a lot of trickery going on here. Um, boundaries being violated. And, and I feel you see, I believe this is him and this is her. I believe that there was some kind of boundaries that were being crossed. Um, maybe that he found out about um, with the dominance. I feel like whatever was going on with this third party played a role in this. Um, I've also got the Mildew Fairy. Okay, so yeah, I do believe that she was involved in this and there's a cleanup going on. Um, I will have to look back into my first read, but if the water element or water, anything with water came out in that, it's reassuring us here that yes, there was the Mildew Fairy talks about, you see this? Cleanup time. Um, that generally means that water was used to clean this up or something about water. Um, I do believe that he could have been tricked into something also. There was a lot of trickery going on, a lot of, um, and I believe it was with this female and this other male that was there. There was a lot of things that were going on between those two. I feel here too that um, boundaries were crossed. So there could have been some infidelity here um, with this other male that was involved with the power of three over here. So there was three people there. A lot of trickery going on there. So I do believe that she was involved, the female. So what is he thinking now? We are also going to get some more cards on this, you guys, to see what else he can bring out regarding this situation. But we got the three fates. So we got the power of three here and we got the three fates. So he's telling me that... What comes around is going to go around. So I think that something's going to happen here. But let's get some ooh, clarification on there. Okay, so I also got, we got the trick-or-treating here the day of. What's Halloween? Trick-or-treating, right? What's Halloween involved? Getting candy. Look what I got. Candy cane angel. Tells me about it's time for a treat. Okay, so hers is, I've got the three fates here, which tells me about what comes around is going to go around. So I do believe that, um, the truth is going to come out. Um, he's seeing what's going on. And the candy cane angel is talking about it's time for a treat. So somebody, they're going to be caught. I think there's going to be some trickery replayed on them. So what this is telling me right now, let's pull another one. Yeah, angel of alchemy and miracle. So what I'm getting from this is... What they did to him, it's going to come back to haunt them. What goes around comes around. So something is going to come about here with these other two. And I think it's going to, whatever the trickery that they used on Joshua is going to come back and haunt them. Okay. The angel of alchemy is a miracle. Somebody is going to slip up. Um, they're going to tell the wrong person or they're going to slip something. So something could slip out. <clears throat> Sorry for the cough. Let's get some more information on this. Okay, so the days leading up, Josh. What more can you add regarding these three fates? The Breaking Dawn and the Marie Masquerade, the, grand, the drama. What was the drama in that about... Ah, uh, yeah. Regards to transmission. It's a spreading of influences and the impact that this is going to have. So it's talking about some kind of impact. So there was something that was going on between the three of them that had a, a major impact on him. And I believe that this could be an infidelity. Um, almost like right in front of his face is what I'm getting. That's what he's showing me. That... So she may have been openly flirting with this other individual right in front of his face or doing it behind his back and he happened to come in the room and catch them. There was something like that that was going on there. Okay, let's 
see what else we can get. The prey stopped and dated and watched. Yeah. See that? The prey. Um, so I believe that he, he caught them in doing something. So this could have been right up to minutes before his demise. Um, because I'm getting that there was some kind of impact and being watched. Um, so I do feel there was another male there. And I think he caught them doing something. I've got it here too. Boundaries being crossed. So the day that this happened, what more can you tell us about the mildew fairy? Death and the maiden. And one just went flying. I will get that. And the trick or treat. Yeah, trust was broken. That's faith, trust being broken. Um, I feel like I feel like he flipped out when he caught them doing whatever. I think he flipped out. So I'm almost seeing like I got a little bit more information regarding this. Not a lot. It's almost like I'm just going to say it. I feel like they were in a dwelling and he went outside to use the bathroom to go for a pee or something. And he came back in and caught them doing something. Um, feel like the trust was broken. I, I, I see him flipping out, like losing his crap. Um, Andy hero. Yep. Risk taker, rule breaker. Yep. And he flipped out, totally flipped out. Um, I think she started yapping and a fight broke out. There was, there was, <laughs> Like, how, how dare you do that? Like, because with the risk, the taking a risk, she risked that, like him going outside and something happened there. I think she there was an infidelity with this other individual. Um, it was a big risk for her to take, but she did it. And I feel he caught her. Um, and we got the nightmare. Okay, so this did. It turned into a nightmare for both of them. Um, and they had to go forward, I think, with, they just, I, I'm feeling he got hit. He got hit. So I feel like he was almost attacked, possibly by this, by both of them, but mainly this male. And I feel a hit to the head. Um, and in order to protect themselves, they had to get rid of him. And this is what I think it was over. Uh, she was caught doing something like, I feel like the three of them were in this residence. He went out to use the bathroom. I don't know why he wouldn't use the bathroom inside, but he went outside to use the bathroom is what I'm getting. And he stood there. He didn't just catch them. He, he watched them for a minute to see like, am I seeing things here? But yeah, he caught them in an infidelity, I think. And it blew up. He came in and confronted it and it blew up. So with the, the angel of alchemy and time for a treat with candy cane angel and the three fates what goes around, comes around. This is going to come out. Um, and this is what he's thinking now. Let's see what else we get here. We got the ex ecstasy, rapture and bliss, a burnt by the sun. Yep. Um, Let's take another one and sacrifice. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So what he's thinking now is a big sacrifice is coming. Okay. She's going to be, you see the, she's holding the, the dead goose here. Um, she's going to pay for it. She's going to pay for it. And I've also got with the sacrifice, it's like letting go almost. It's like she let go of this really quick. After this happened, she just like kind of moved on with her life as if nothing happened. Um, but um, the extension of this, she's going to get burnt because somebody's going to burn her. So, and I'm getting that also up here with the three fates. So what goes around comes around. Um, this is going to come back and haunt her. I believe she is going to be caught. Somebody's going to be, I think she's going to slip, but just moving on, like as if nothing happened and he sees bliss at the end of this. So I do feel like this, she is going to be caught with this. Um, I feel like he's saying there's things going on in the background, maybe that we don't know about. 
Um, let's get a couple of cards here from the Whispering Woods. Um, we got preserve. Leave no stone unturned. Um, so you're going to have to really search for him. I'm going to pull some more cards from um, the map deck to see if we can get an area where he would be. But right now I've got preserve. So the area where he is is preserved. So not much has changed there. I don't see people going there and, you know, changing the scenery or, or moving stuff or anything like that right now. I feel it's being preserved, but you're going to have to really look. I'm also going to take one from the secret garden. And then we'll go into um, the enchanted map. See uncertainty. The shades of gray within the fog will eventually lift. So right now, I think people are, are like, I think his family in that is um, thinking that she's never going to be caught. She is. Okay. The fog will lift. I've got that already here. Okay. That this is going to come out. And I've also got preserve. Leave no stone unturned because I think you're going to really have to look for him. So let's go into the map, the enchanted map. And we'll see if we can get an area to describe an area, Josh, where your physical remains can be found. Please describe an area where your physical remains can be found. Stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud. So I feel like this is going to be near water. A muddy area. Let's get some more, please. Give us some more. As much as you can so we can figure out where this place is. Let's see what we got. Solitude. Into the unknown. So we got the stuck in the mud. We got the solitude. We got the magical map. And into the unknown. So what this is telling me Magical map shifter tells me that there's something moving. I'm taking water and I'm getting stuck in the mud. <clears throat> so I feel like this could be a very muddy bottom. I believe he's in water. Um, I do believe that it could be a very muddy bottom um, where he's become wedged in. I've also got the water here and solitude. So this is out somewhere outside of, um, I guess this isn't in a city. This is on the outskirts. This is in an area that's um, secluded, sort of like. And into the unknown. Um, I get this when it's a place that's maybe not, even though the place itself may be known, I don't think this area is very well known. So, and leave no stone unturned. So there could, this could be a, an area. I do know that it is um, on the outskirts. I'm getting the water here and a single building. I'm also getting stuck in the mud with the magical shift. So that tells me about something moving. Water. He's in water and could be stuck. So his body could have been, um, I don't know if there is a water hole there somewhere, but there's water where he could have got stuck in there because I'm getting stuck in the mud. So he could have been caught up on something under the water that's keeping him down there. Um, and you're going to have to go into the unknown. So this is a place, even though this, this area may be known, I don't think where he is this, this, place where he's stuck. I'm getting water. Um, it's not very well known, this place. And I'm also getting the pre preserve, which no, uh, leave no stone unturned. So there could, it could be a rocky area with um, a little bit of water. I don't feel like it's like, like a large body of water. And I don't think it's very well known, this place. People that go here often may know where this is, but it's not like a destination, like a beach or something like that. 
So that is what I am getting uh, regarding the area. Stuck in the mud, it's around water, around some building, and it looks dilapidated a bit. <laughs> I do get that he's in water. And he's stuck. So when when he was thrown into that water or put in the water, I feel like he could have got caught up on something underneath the water because I got stuck in the mud. Um, and I feel like this place is not very well known. Okay. So that is my read. Hopefully this brings out some more information. But I do feel that he had gone out. It could be this building. He had gone outside to go to the bathroom. So maybe there wasn't a working toilet in there or something. He had gone outside because this building looks dilapidated. Um, and it kind of fits in with up here too, that he had gone outside. And then when he came back in, he was watching. Okay. And it sent him into crazy zone. Like he lost his crap. So I do believe that this was some kind of an infidelity. Um, I don't think he knows this guy very well, if he knows him at all. I think she brought him into the picture, the female. So this may have been, he had just met this guy or just became aware of this guy, but he walked in on something and all hell broke loose. I feel a hit to the back of the head here um, and they had to get rid of him. So I don't know if the injury was bad enough that, you know, I don't know. But the shades of gray within the fog will eventually lift. They are going to be caught. Something's going to come out. But he is stuck in the water. So when I get that, I feel like he could have been tossed in there. Could there could be branches or, or anything, something under that water that he's become stuck on. So that is my updated read. Please share this out where you can. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Um, and click that like button, share this out where you can. And we will see what happens when he is found because I do believe he's gonna be found. She's gonna slip up. She's gonna, he sees it, he sees them being caught, so. Let's see what happens. Um, I don't know the length. I'm not getting a length of time, but I am getting what goes around, comes around, and that she moved on really quick. <laughs> she went on with her life like nothing had happened, and that's a clue in its own. Okay? So that's my read. Until the next time, please take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Love you to the moon and back. Bye-bye for now.